Films, and today we're looking at my custom Lego Bizarro. Now, um, this Lego Bizarro is basically kind of my own design, sort of, not really. Um, you know, with uh, the New 52 and Superman's outfit, and then with the New 52 Bizarro, I was just like, you know, it doesn't look like, um, you know, really like Bizarro. I mean, in a way, but not really. So... And then, um, with the new 52 Superman outfit, I was like, what if, you know, you got those and bizarro the colors, and basically this is what I did. Um, I know the cape doesn't match with the, the purpley red that I have on the rest of the figure, but I thought the cape kind of, you know, stood out and it looked really great next to it, and I know the hair isn't, uh, but, like, you know, I, well, I know that Lego has a hair piece for Bizarro, for their San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Bizarro, but I decided to go with this uh, sleepy, spiky hair piece because it just looked better. So this is pretty much what I came up with. The mouth is a little crappy, the face is somewhat crappy, but you know, it's Bizarro so it passes. Um, now with the fig, I tried making this purple color, this dark purple color, and I didn't want anything too bright because I was like, um, you know, I've already got a uh, Lego um, Bat Zaro and I was like, oh, if I have the purple too close, it'll pretty much not really look that different from this. So I want it to look different. Here he is next to the Lego Bat Zaro from the, um, what was it, Justice League versus Bizarro League DVD uh, or whatever. <laughs> and then here's here he is next to my Man of Steel, I mean Man of Steel. <laughs> New 52 Superman uh, custom, which is basically just a slight mod or up upgrade. <laughs> it's not that much different. Same torso as the original, uh, brand new um, logo, and then the painted on belt with the painted on boots. Now, um, I've, I've seen an image of Bizarro with him wearing this but he was like really buff and I was like wonder what it would look like if it was kind of normal ish so I I mean it would you know so I was like I kind of was based on that but then the logo was a black s and so I was like you know what why not just you know basically try to make this in a bizarro style and this is what I came up with it's not that you know like not like really something I came up with it's just originally I was, you know, going to like pretty much make the one from the new 52, but then I saw the one where he's like really buff in some uh Bizarro comic where the where the it was like super villain month or something last year or whatever where the super villains got um the superhero titles, but they spray painted their name over the, you know what I mean? Like they they had their own little uh, standalone uh, series I think last year or something and so that you know that's just pretty much um, kind of what it came from but mostly before I saw that image this is what I came up with and and then when I saw the image I basically just uh, was like oh might as well just kind of copy that sort of but this is pretty much in a way sort of original design by me um, I even painted the back a little bit. I got the belt and everything. I got the boots all the way around. I went with this cape instead of making a custom cape because, well, custom capes, custom capes, you know, they take a little bit more time to paint. So I was like, uh, and I already had this red cape kind of um, just testing it out, what it would look like in the end result. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to leave it like this, this cloth cape and this bright red. It looks great. Um... And then the face, I tried to make him showing his teeth, but it looked out, it turned out really ugly. And I tried putting some shadow around his eye with like a pen and the rock texture of the face. But you know what? It's Bizarro. He's supposed to look ugly. So, it, you know, kind of it kind of works in a way. Um, so that's pretty much it for my custom. Uh, not too much to talk about with this guy. Just pretty much make this dark purple, this reddish purple. And then make that backwards S, which looks kind of terrible. I wish I could have done that a little bit more better. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for my custom uh, Lego Bizarro. Hope you guys like it. Please check out the channel. There's a lot of um, Arkham Knight videos I've been uploading lately. Uh, the DLC, uh, you know, all that other stuff. There'll be more DLC stuff coming soon. There'll be more gameplay of it coming soon. 
and um, there will be more customs coming soon. So I hope you guys like it. I'll see you guys in the next one.